Hey guys, welcome to my third Finish 14 by February 14 project plan update. I made some changes this time um, and I finished my first product which is very exciting. The product I finished is the Dirty Works Vitamin C Brightening Mask and please excuse my lightning, the thing is I didn't have anything else than this ridiculous lamp that I'm using when I'm working at my desk reading, it's a reading lamp, and I didn't have any other lamp I could use to have um, acceptable lightning, so this is what we're working with tonight. So this is gone, and I decided to put in a new face mask, and it's going to be the Himalaya Herbals Purifying Mud Pack. This is a new face mask. I have not tried it yet. This lightning is horrible. Okay, let's head into the other 13 products. The first one is this Clear Skin Professional Blemish Mark Treatment from Avon. And I made good progress with this one. This is where I'm at. I used it consistently. I really forced myself onto using it and I'm sure that by the end of this project pen I will have a lovely review to this product and I will be able to tell you if it helps uh, for blemish marks. The next product is the Almadam Face Balm. I have very slight progress with this one, this is where we are. So it's almost nothing but I don't want to say it's nothing because I did use it. Then we got the Once Upon a Time um, Anti-Wrinkle Eye Gel, and this is where we're at. Also use this consistently on my under eye area, and from time to time I do put it on my neck and décolleté. This is the Sundance Lip Balm. Almost no progress with this one. I used it just a few times and I just forgot about it, so I will be better. Then we got the MUA Pro Base Prime and Conceal Powder and Dome is down. That's what's up. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, the dome is going down. I am using this every day. Not worried. Next one is the Pitts Vibe Brave and Beautiful Autumn Glow Highlighter. I did use this almost every day. I don't like to explain myself, but in the last few weeks I did not use um, makeup all the time. But I still make good progress with this one. Because I love it. I just love it. I'm obsessed with it and I use it whenever I use highlighter. Next is a product I think is going to be a bit of a hassle to finish by February 14th. It's the Deborah uh, Baked Blush in Gold Mahogany. And I did make good progress with this one. You can see the pen, and the pen is too obvious. But it's still um, a lot of work, this one. Even though I do love it, I have it on today. And it kind of suits me. I really like it when I wear it. Um, I really like it. Whenever I look in, into a mirror that day, I'm like, mm, what's the thing on your cheek? And I always remember it's this one. So love this product. I really, really love it. And I'm so happy I chose this um, for my project pen because otherwise I would not have used it um, at all because I just forgot about this product. But I'm so glad I'm using it now and I hope I can finish it by the deadline. So last time I exchanged the um, Essence Iso Bay in Illuminating Kiwi and I didn't show you the product I exchanged it for. It's the Elf Eye Brightener. So this is where I'm this time. Another product in my project pan that I hated was the Max Factor Smoky Eye um, duo eye stick and I haven't used it at all so I was like I could exchange it for something and I exchange it for a double-sided product that I use every day. It's the Astor Soft Sensation Double Excellence Two-Step Lipstick and you know, I made so crazy progress with this one. It's just because it's in my jacket 
at all times and I use it every day. I take it with um, with me to uni and to work and I just use it all the time. This is the progress with the base color. So that's a lot. And I did use this all the freaking time. I don't know if I ever used a lipstick um, this much like this one because the color is really lovely too. It's um, very appropriate. It's um, very day appropriate. It's a lovely champagne color. The next product is the L'Oreal Studio Secrets uh, Professional Fiber Base and we're just going to go with it because there's no way for us to see how much product is left and I use it in conjunction with the Essence Volumizing Lash Powder. Last time I didn't have enough progress to mark it but this time I was able to do so and this is the progress. The next product is this um, eyeshadow in Garden of Eden. This is how much is left, so I cleared out a bit more from this corner, even though I'm just not feeling this eyeshadow these days, but I'm going to use it up. The next product is the um, Maybelline Diamond Gloss, and it's not the color Fuchsia Fever, it's the color Fuchsia Jewel. This is how much I got left. Could be finished by my next update. And I plan on um, putting another lip gloss in the project when this one is gone. Yeah, this is all. These are my um, 14 products I got going and my one empty. I hope you enjoyed. This was just a quick update. I wish everyone luck who is doing the um, project and I'll see you soon. Bye.